the ASNU R35 12 injector conversion kit for the stock manifold. Um, this is what you will receive in the kit. You will need some Loctite 5400 or equivalent. You will need some clean non-silicon engine oil, um, Allen keys, possibly an O-ring pick. You will receive in your kit a set of six injectors of your choice. Um, these are the ASNU SC design, specifically designed for this installation. You will receive an upper and a lower base plate for the, uh, this is actually the fuel rail. Six mounting bolts, five retaining screws for the lower base plate and eight O-rings of which two are spares. Upon receipt of your kit, Obviously you will need to get your intake manifold machined to the engineering drawing that we supply, um, also included in the kit. Um, any good machine shop should be able to work from this. If there's any problems, please contact us. Start off with the base plate. You will need to fit each of the O-rings over the first and they have a little lip that they sit on. Uh, I don't know if that's able to be seen. Do that for all six locations. Then add, using your combined sealant and thread lock, a small bead all the way around the O-ring, which will act as a sealant for it. Once you've done that, you will then need your manifold, which you are providing. We advise that it's fitted upside down, because obviously if you were to turn it the other way up, the O-rings will fall off, so you install it like that. Um, this one we've already done for clarity. It sits like that. And that's what you should get when you finish. You then need to add sealant to each of the countersunk holes and this just allows the bolts to be sealed. You only need a very small amount. Insert your countersunk bolts and tighten finger tight just to get them started so they don't cross thread. Using one of your Allen keys, you can then just spin these up tight. These should be done up to approximately 18 Newton meters. And once this is done, you can wipe any excess sealant from the tops of the cap head bolts before it hardens. Okay, then take your injectors, lubricate the O-rings with clean non-silicon engine oil and insert into the base plate. There will be an initial resistance and then it will um, move more freely. Once you've done that with all of them, At this stage, lubricate the upper O-rings.
and making sure that you have this correctly aligned place over the top of the fuel rail it will go both way rounds but it will not align in both directions so make sure your bolt holes are lined up you should then fairly firmly be able to push it down install your retaining bolts like so Tighten these again to approximately 18 newton meters of torque. You've done that, you are then ready to put your manifold on back onto the vehicle. The threads in the upper fuel rail are dash 8 orb, which is 3 quarters UNF with an O-ring internal seal. Should you have any problems obtaining these, then we can also provide these parts. Once you've done that and you've plumbed the system, please prime the fuel system using Ecutech or by cycling the ignition system and check for fuel leaks. Um, other than that, happy motoring.